Welcome to At Home with Trey Harris. This is this week's top stories. Tom Brady recently compared playing in the NFL to going on a military deployment. Veterans are confused as well as active military, trained to carry heavy artillery, and Tom Brady can't even throw a fully pumped football. Since making this statement, Brady has apologized for his poor choice of words, saying the weight was more than he could bear. So probably about the same as a regulation football. <laughs> Liz Truss has resigned as prime minister after a record 44 days in office. The joke here, her entire career as prime minister. <laughs> Ikea has hiked prices by nearly 80% to make it simple for customers to identify affected items. They will be marked with a picture of Snoop Dogg. <laughs> and Dr. Oz has quickly jumped within the margin of error in the Pennsylvania Senate race. Polars are astonished by the speed of his comeback, and experts say his campaign manager is some sort of genius. One might even say... A wizard. <laughs> it's expected, speaking speaking of voting, it's expected that early voting numbers will continue to increase into the last week of voting. It's going so well, it's expected that the polls will officially stay open on October 31st so the dead can cast a ballot. <laughs> and now it's time for a special segment that we're going to start doing here right on at home with Trey Harris called Unprecedented Times. True and international average of pressure. Recently, Joe Biden made an incredible claim in regards to the phenomenal aging in his family. Watch this clip and see for yourself. My younger sister used to be three years younger than me. Now she's 23 years younger. There's not a single solitary Biden. Now many are asking how this is possible. However, this phenomena opens a door to another possibility. Is Joe Biden his own grandpa? <laughs> Take a look for yourself. I'm just saying. It's a possibility. All right, going abroad, uh, even farther than the UK, that is, going abroad into the eastern parts of the world, President Xi Jinping is looking to secure a third term as president in China, making many nervous he will turn yet again if elected, which we know he will be, uh, towards Taiwan uh, in force. It is no secret President Xi has sought to expand his territory. In a leaked statement to his general, Xi stated, Today, Taiwan. Tomorrow, the Hundred Acre Wood. Also, <laughs> they do look alike. You have to admit, they do look a lot alike. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Also in international news, Vladimir Putin has declared martial law in annexed territories. When briefed by intelligence agencies of Putin's latest move, Biden said, Who's Marshall? <laughs> That's a lame joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. A study came out recently in which said half of Americans believe that social media companies are biased in their fact checks. The survey includes... Wait. All right, this just in. We're getting uh we're we're getting news that the fact checkers at Facebook have looked at this story and they are determining that it is false. <laughs> um also this week the Supreme Court denied Donald Trump's appeal uh in which he had requested a special master take a look and review the documents that were seized at Mar-a-Lago. When he got news of the denial, Trump then vowed to fire the conservative justices he nominated, only for the court to inform him this wasn't The Apprentice. 
And finally, the numbers for this quarter of inflation are out. And uh, needless to say, the numbers are extremely high, which has caused many pundits in the media to ask why the government would pump $1.9 trillion into the economy. White House spokespersons to quell the naysayers have simply pointed to a study that has shown since 2020, 9.5 billion people have passed go. <laughs> and that's the news for this week. Thank you for joining me right here on At Home with Trey Harris. Make sure that you stay tuned uh, and subscribe to our Substack page where you can find this and many other segments on this new show. Thank you guys so much, and we will see you next time. <laughs>